Hey there, love. This is Infinity, and welcome to the Evolve Now podcast with Infinity. And if you follow me or watch my videos or are one of my clients and are used to seeing me on camera, I am in a very different place than I normally am, am at. Um, I am downstairs where they're back there, <laughs> up, up in my uh, upper level is where I normally am with all my plants up there. But... Um, there's been uh, changes in the environment and I've had to adjust. Let's leave it at that. So I was guided to set up down here. This is my art desk and this is also a really lovely place. One of my favorite places and I've been using it more and more for writing. Try to, I've been trying to find a really comfortable place to write. And uh, and yeah, so <laughs> my art spot, my my writing spot, um, because I've been writing like crazy, and that is what I want to talk to you about today. I'm super super excited about because I've been writing like a mad little fiend, and there's a lot of new uh, articles on my medium.com um, at infinity underscore nine six three, and of course the description, every the the links will be in the description. Um, but here's a quick little story, and this podcast will not be long because I have a client meeting in 20 minutes. Um, I had I had a publication on Medium. It was called The Dreamers. Um, I started that like two years ago, and nothing really happened with it. I had a few people um, get on there, and I and I published on there, but I mostly published to Illumination and a couple other publications as well, because I wanted more exposure and all of that. And also, I think that people, and I didn't really get a whole lot of things happening there. I think people had a hard time understanding what it was about. So this past, I don't know, six months ago, whatever it was, I was guided to create a new publication on Medium called The Messengers. And I think that that really encapsulates what this publication is about. It's about putting out your message, expressing your story. I'm going, look, that being a place that you go for for messages, that being a place that you go to give messages, to share your story. Um, and one of the really cool things that I'm super excited about about this publication is that there's a journal section. So the pressure is off to really like write an article that's like perfect. I want, because that can really hang us up. And as a writer and as a perfectionist, and especially as somebody that used to publish exclusively to other places, um, you know, you wouldn't be publishing like a journal type story or, you know, something that you just need to get out or you want feedback on. You do want um, community support, but it's not exactly like a story like that you, you know, story or article. So I created a journal section and I'm really inspired to do that because um, it's one of the big things that really is part of my Evolve Now programs with my clients. They get an online journal, um, they answer stock tr template questions, um, and that's how I know what's going on with them day to day and it's private, it's just me and them. Um, and I answer questions there and they get my feedback and they all love the journal. It is, it does take some work, but they, they end up, well, not, well, can't say everybody loves the journal, but most people find value in it, um, for going back and looking at, you know, what they're doing in life or what's happening in life and how they feel about stuff. Cause we can tend to, after a week or two, things kind of blend together and we're on to what we're dealing with now. I personally, um, have a, a hard time journaling. I need to get better with that. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. And I came up with this really cool um, new thing I'm, I'm going to be writing about. So I'm not going to really talk about that here because I don't want to take up too much time. And, and I will if I get into that. But anyway, it will be in the journal section to, for, you know, help. It'll be another new article that's coming out. Um, so I'm excited about that. But anyhow, so aside from that, what I want is first off to let you guys know, I have a lot of new articles on my, um, on my profile and also under messengers. I have decided that I'm going to be exclusively, exclusively publishing to my own 
uh, publication from now on. Um, I had a couple of articles that I submitted to a, a spirit, more of a spiritual publication and they didn't publish it. And looking back, I can see why there was a lot of things that I thought that I fixed or didn't look like that. And, and I made look a lot better and stuff. So it's everything happens for a reason because in this in between time, I read an article where this lady's like, look, I thought for great exposure, you had to publish on all these publications or bigger publications for other people to read. And she's like, I actually get just as much, if not more views, just publishing to her own profile, not even her own publication. Um, in the comments, there was somebody that was like, hey, like, have you thought about having your own publication? And she was like, huh, maybe I'll do that. And this is a brand new article. So she, I don't think she's done that yet. I'm going to comment there as well. But I'm like, you know what? That was like the trick. That was the thing that, because I've been thinking like, where am I going to publish? Do I keep looking? Do I keep searching? Because it takes so long sometimes to hear back or you don't ever hear back. Um, it, you know, from, from a publication, if they don't want to publish, you know, have you as an editor or publish your stories or, or anything like that. Um, and even if you are on a publication, it can take 24, 48 a week, you know, depending on how big and huge they are to, to get your work published. Um, and anyway, bottom line is that I am now exclusively publishing to my publication, The Messengers. And this is a call out to you writers, those who of you who need to start getting, getting your stuff written, stories, articles, um, whatever it is, there's, a, I have a lot, there's a broad scope of stuff that I'd like to be, to be on my, on my publication. And I invite you, if you're spiritually awakening, if you're a spiritualist, if you're into holistic health, these are the, um, if you're an empath and light worker, uh, these are the sections, but a lot of things fall under this. So, um, spirituality and ascension is a tag and a section, um, under my profile and there is a dis uh, link in the description to get to my publication it's medium.com back backslash the dash messengers but there will there is a link um anyhow so spirituality and ascension holistic health empath and light workers and the journal so um what I'm looking for is for people who are ready to share their voice, or if you have, if you have been writing, if you write for the other publications on Medium, come check out the messengers. I am brand new. We are a brand new publication, but I'm going to be transferring um, um, the past stuff that was, I think maybe there's like 15 articles on on the dreamers i'm going to be moving that to the messengers and like i said all of my articles from now on are going to be on my own publication i'm super excited about that um it feels really empowering and for those of you who want to start writing as well um in the spiritual holistic health empaths light workers divinity ascension all of that good stuff this is what i have for my this is what it says for the um about Spirituality, ascension, evolution, holistic health, energy work and healing, shamanism, astral meditation, personal spiritual awakening stories, galactic stargates, astrology and cosmic weather, readings, divine counterparts, an open journal for empaths and light workers. So I hope that motivates you to come check it out. But let me tell you the most recent articles that I have put out. Okay, so um. There's, of course, stuff about the Lion's Gate. I've been all over the place about the Lion's Gate, sending emails, going live, um, doing podcasts, just all the things for the Lion's Gate soul journey. So there's definitely that. If you have not read about the soul, the soul journey for the Lion's Gate, please check it out. It's going on now. It's something I'm facilitating. Um, we're doing so many really cool things with that that I hope um, you could check it out and see about that. So there's a couple of articles about that. Um, and today I just published um, How We Evolve, Empaths, Energy, and the Eight Psychic Clairs. This is a 19-minute read. None of my articles are long, and I've always been like, oh gosh, you know, like submitting these articles to the publications and them going, oh my God, these are so long. How do we even look through these? And I just... Yeah, 
now that it's on my publication, like write long articles. I just, I have a lot of content, a lot of information. There's a lot of stuff in my articles and I'm not going to apologize for that. It's like either you resonate with it, take your time with it, read it in chunks, um, listen to it. You can also listen to the articles now on your, on your mobile or on your t laptop or tablet. So read or listen. Um, but anyway, that one is a 19 minute read. So we get into why and how we evolve as empaths, how we understand energy and the eight psychic clairs that we can employ and build upon. The next one and companion piece to that one is evolving. 21 clues, your third eye is opening, expanding your psychic uh, abilities and spirituality. So 21 clues about your third eye and what to look for and understand and how to work with your third eye to maximize and help your body um, with this whole thing because it's such a key part of your evolution and your ascension. Okay, now the third article I published today is called is showing up enough nope <laughs> and it's about participation in your evolution Particip participation in showing up for other people what that means and especially my experience as a broadcaster I just had my first show on fireside uh, on Monday about the Lionsgate. Gonna have another one the following Monday, another one the following Monday, and another one the following Monday until we get to the Lionsgate on 8-8. Um, and it's about my experience going going live and broadcasting on Fireside. And um, it may be a little harsh, maybe a little true about what I get into there, but it's how I feel. And, and I think um, it's important for other people to understand what it's like on this side of the camera and how to show up for somebody on this side of the camera. Okay, so those are the um, the newest articles that I've published along with um, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial and how the how the truth and justice prevailed. That's a really long article, 37 minutes. I have another one that I published right before that, which is my abuse story, how to identify and escape uh, a narcissist and how that eventually um, went into a whole like restraining order thing. And I go through that whole process. Um, so there's those articles also how to or what let me read it because i it's kind of a long title let me read this this is on this is published on um do, 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 where is it this is published on illumination it's called how to make the ultimate divinely magical positive energy and protection tonic spray um so uh, it's exactly what it sounds like how it's instructions on how to make this uh, i don't have it right here but it's it looks brown it has a lot of awesome stuff in it and you spray it around you you spray it on you spray it in your environment um better than just smudge you can use in conjunction with it but anyway awesome 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 i channeled that um so there you go those are the most recent articles i am i ask you and invite you to check out my personal profile it is medium.com backslash at infinity underscore 963 and my publication is the messengers and uh my new and you'll see how they're how the articles are mirrored there because it's published under the publication and they show up on my on my profile and that's how it would be for you as well you have your profile and all the the stories and articles would be on your profile but then you go to the publication that it's published under and you will see them there as well so if you're a new writer to medium and you want to help support a new publication that's all dedicated to spirituality and what's so cool is you can write about your experiences you can write about what you're getting into and you make money as people read your articles. So people get to know you, you share, um, it's very supportive and you make some cash and you never know, article can go viral and you can make a lot of money. I'm still waiting for that, but I have made a few hundred dollars being on Medium over several hundred dollars after being on Medium and publishing for a couple years now and taking a long hiatus at that, like almost a whole year. So now I'm back in full force. There's so many, I have, now that I've published these, I have 20, 20, 28 articles um, that are coming out that are in various stages of being written from like a year or two years ago that just like 
have been there in the vault that are going to be coming out soon. And I really hope that you're motivated to think about what you've written. Think about what you started. Think about, you know, what you wanted to put out there. And maybe it just wasn't the right time. Maybe it never happened. Maybe now is. Maybe now's the right time. And even if that's not the case, think about the journal. Think about just just joining medium and just publishing for the journal aspect of it to just get stuff out and to get feedback you know it's like i'm not saying i'm gonna i'm gonna uh, you know uh spend a half an hour and giving you all this free advice on your journal but i will give you some nuggets of of inspiration motivation help and healing and so will everybody else that's the cool thing too um i want it to be a community where people can go and feel safe and not feel judged and share their experiences i say i'm the wooiest of the woo infinity or fairy godmother there isn't literally anything that you can tell me that I'd be like, oh, weird. Oh, that's crazy. She's crazy. Like, trust me. I, t I channel, um, I'm an archangel incarnate. I channel archangels. I, I am a channel and vessel for Mother Earth Gaia. I um, commune with mermaids and unicorns and dragons and fairy and <laughs> galactics and mother, father, God and, and all the things. So this is a, so if you resonate with that on any level, if you're, interested to join a community within a community that is about expression creativity sharing all those things uh you know consider joining the messengers if you um if you feel that you that you are one or just come read come read read the articles clap you can give more than you can give up to 50 claps um 222 right now by the way you can give up to uh 50 claps uh so it's not just like like likes where you just like something or heart something just the one time you can give up to 50 you have to press on the button multiple times like like just hold it down for that to to happen so if you could do that that would be fantastic because those extra claps that just shows your excitement for something like one clap is like yay uh i'm here here's a clap 50 claps is like oh great this makes me feel good this helps me this you know whatever it's that kind of energy so and i kind of have a rule i give 50 claps about anything um it's like if i'm gonna clap i'm gonna give the full energy of that's just how i've decided to do it from the very beginning when i i recognize that that's a thing um and comment respond they're called responses respond to the articles tell us how you feel about them um share within those make them make them in its own post if you're not yet on medium join it's free to join you can be part of the partners program for five uh five dollars i don't oh yeah they did change it you don't start making money until you have a hundred followers but that's not difficult especially if you're um publishing frequently um, so that's basically it. what I wanted to get um, out today is to let you know about all these articles that I put out and that my uh, publication, The Messengers, is going to be the place to be. All of my articles are going there and um, I want yours to as well. So and if you're and um, if some of you are already on there as writers so there just hasn't been anything going on there because i wasn't doing anything either so you know as a as an as the editor in chief of this publication i kind of put up i kind of put up the sign up on outside the door and then walked away and never came back so of course nobody else is going to go there but now i'm going to be here a lot a lot a lot and i hope you are too and again the lion's gate um i'll put that information in or, or the links to those articles in this description as well please check those out again this is it's like i say it's once in a lifetime get on it let's do this right now but you can sign up later this is self-directed the one time we're meeting live is on august 8th but there is there are things to do to to get you ready for that but it's not like you you have to do it at certain times you know what i mean and you can join late you can join even after the eighth and still do it so it's not mandatory to be um to start it at any you know particular time it's just i always feel like sooner the better you know get in there there's a forum you get a storybook you build a light gate you do artwork it's really really cool um and then what we end up doing um 
on the 8th. I've done this for five or six years now, every single year facilitating a live um, channeled guided spirit walk meditation with all sorts of activations and energy work done. This year is the biggest, the strongest, the most work we're doing way ahead of time. I've never done that for a lion's gate. Four weeks of work before the lion's gate have never done that before. It's really cool. And there's so much awesome energy coming through. July is all about connecting with our divine counterparts and, um, and that forward momentum um, into this beautiful next, you know, end of the year, I guess. <laughs> last six months, last five months, um, four months of the year. So anyway, a lot, a lot of energy coming through. I hope you feel it. I hope you're doing well. I hope this inspires you to read, write, and join up. Until next time, this is Infinity. Infinite love and blessings. Don't forget, the key is to create. And I love you already. Bye for now.